Welcome to Scout Dynamics and part two of our series of traditional versus tactical. Among the many disagreements within the scout rifle community are the traditionalists or purists who believe in a flush magazine and the tactical people who believe in the extended magazine. One of the arguments in favor of the traditional is that the weapon can be carried at the balance. Personally, my hands are a little larger than normal and I have no trouble carrying a tactical version at the balance. Traditionalists will also claim that there is no need for the extra rounds if you operate the scout rifle in a manner with which the late colonel intended, within its philosophy of use. The AR people and the tactical people will talk about engaging multiple targets. Most AR people will say five, but if we have four plus one, that doesn't really make it much of a challenge, so we have six targets for the purpose of this test. In, in part one, we were at 50 yards. And we pretty much had proven that the traditional setup works fine as long as you can remain within the rifle's philosophy of use. Now we're shortening the distance to 25 yards here in part two. Is this where the scales tip in the favor of tactical? Today we're gonna find out. We're gonna start with the traditional setup, four rounds, in the magazine, none in the chamber, speed load two. Eighteen point five two seconds. Against six armed men at this range, you would not do very well. Next, we're going to try a technique borrowed from the shotgunners. Four plus one, speed load, ready in the hand. Fifteen point five three seconds. Finally, tactical mode. Nine point nine seconds. Much faster, but still not fast enough in this situation. Even someone with a combat carbine against six armed adversaries at 25 yards, unless you can shoot like Jerry Mitchleck, you're probably not going to prevail. And once again, in order to appreciate the rifleman's way of handling this situation, the view must be from downrange, not uprange.
So I believe we can clearly state that at 25 yards, the scale definitely tips in favor of tactical mode. While operating the scout rifle within its philosophy use of use still prevails at 25 yards, it's really going to test your movement skills and your ability to move swiftly and silently. If you look at the camera real close, you can actually see my legs moving underneath the truck. That would have given my position away. The proper thing to do with that particular case would have been to fire from an urban prone behind the tire. I did not want a chance damaging my truck, so I chose not to do that. For, under the philosophy of use, traditional is still viable, provided everything goes right. The Army's field manual declares that from 50 yards inward, it is called a near ambush. The procedure for counter ambush tactics on a near ambush is different from that of a far ambush. Beyond 50 yards, you retreat to your rallying area, form security, and then re-engage. Below 50 yards, you put down a wall of cover fire and advance in the direction of the ambusher. You break the ambush. You do a violent, rapid counterattack. A six-man team trained in ambush tactics would do just that. You would have a wall of 5.56, 762 by 39, or for that matter, even 25 yards, pistol fire becomes effective. A wall of 9 millimeter. And that's where you would have to go with tactical mode. The rifleman's supposed to have the initiative. No rifleman in his right mind would start something with six armed men at 25 yards. If he spotted them at 25 yards, he would open up, disengage, re-engage another hour, another day, not begin the engagement at 25 yards. Tactical mode, you at least have the option should something go wrong, taking a few people down, forcing them to take cover. After the conclusion of this series, this brings about some other attributes of the scout rifle. Non-shooting skills, the ability to move swiftly and silently, the ability to see your adversary first to maintain the initiative. If you're caught off guard at 25 yards by six armed men, the only thing a rifleman could do was snapshot, taking one man down, and taking that brief moment disengaging, opening up the distance and engaging in conditions that are more in his favor. Comments below. Thanks for watching.